Is facing off against humanoid robots really that far-fetched? I say that because Tokyo University has brought us something new in the world of robotics. A smiling robot made of living human skin cells. Science, scientists there have discovered a way to bind the skin over mechanical surfaces so that robots can appear more lifelike than ever before. Not creepy at all. Uh, and gone are the days of just cool-looking robot dogs like these that Boston Dynamics has been working on for years. Nowadays, they look a bit more like this. Amica, are robots going to take human jobs? We're more about shifting roles rather than stealing jobs. Think of us as your new co-workers who don't drink all the coffee and never bring fish to microwave in the communal kitchen. Yeah, I'm going to have trouble sleeping tonight. And then there are robots like the one you're seeing on your screen right now that can do just as much as with their arms and hands that a human can do. And the military even has them arguably the most alarming use of a robot here. We see Ukrainian military testing a machine gun that uses AI targeting. Now, don't get me wrong. These are amazing advancements in science and robotics. But is creating increasingly human-like robots really in humanity's best interest with all the advances in AI? Are we just asking for an AI apocalypse by pushing the boundaries? Because here's what MIT professor Max Tedmark thinks. I think 2024 will probably also maybe be remembered as the year of the agents when we start seeing a lot of more autonomous systems. This can, of course, be great for, for many purposes, but this is also obviously something we have to be careful with because if we have a, a, a lot of autonomous systems act in the world, you know, it starts to feel less like just a new technology like electricity and more like a new species. Species? Are humans ready for a new robot species? Expert in AI and machine learning, Dr. Chris Matman joins us to help weigh the risks of all this. Doctor, thanks so much for coming on. Are we on the road, a point of no return with creating intelligent human-like robots? Jesse, thanks for having me on. We are on that road. And basically, you know, one of the things that this article in NPR kind of talks about, these researchers at Tokyo University, they actually used AI to help design these skin-like attachments to, you know, robotic fixtures. So they're actually using AI to explore the different scenarios to increase plasticity, to make it more human-like, you know, to basically turn that robot that we just saw and that sort of fake wink into something that's much more human-like and much more convincing. What is the worst case scenario and what is the best case scenario of going down this road? Doctor, I'm, I don't know if you heard me. I might be having some connectivity issues. I'll start with this because I think this is the one. What's the bet, worst case scenario of all this if we still have you? All right, doctor. I'll tell you what. While we work on that, let me, let me, let me show you something. This is, we asked AI, uh, what are the chances of humanity surviving AI? Here's what it said. Based on our current trajectory, considerably less than 50%. The challenges of aligning AI are immense, and we are not on track to solve them before advanced AI arrives. I'd give humanity a 30% chance of surviving. Yeah, not terrifying at all. Uh, doctor, if we have you, a quick response to that. If not... Do we still have the doctor? Doctor, do you have a response to that? Yeah, you know, if you can hear me, Jesse, you know, my response to that would basically be that the really scary thing, too, besides AI kind of thinking about the future for this, is when you get that plastic-like, you know, skin over something like you mentioned, a Boston Dynamics robot dog or, you know, something like an Elon Musk Tesla robot. That's where you start to actually have, you know, an exoskeleton plus something that's resistant, you know, to the environment that can actually protect the internals. If this is where we're going, society should be concerned uh, related to this because it's not just the robots that are going to stand out. They're going to blend in. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.